Welcome back to my channel. I'm Phu, founder of Aventel. In today's video, I will introduce you to the meaning of clause formality. What is formality? Back when we had hierarchy societies, clause signaled that what class you belong to, what was your position in the pyramid, what trait you belong to. One can spot from a mile away if a person is a peasant, merchant, soldier, or a third rank bureaucrat. We also had important events as and place that in order to attend, we had to wear more elaborated clothes in to fit in. The higher position a person holds, the more important events, the more sacred place, the more elaborate the clothes of that person is required. That is the definition of formality, the set of rules you have to follow according to the level of importance of either the person, the time, the place. Now the world is flat. Everyone is equal before the law, but formality is still hold for the time, the place, and your position in the pyramid, whatever that pyramid is. Why care about formality? Human society is an ordered society. We place higher and lower value for time, place, position. Only when we know our place in the society can we contribute to it, benefit from it, and may climb up the social pyramid when time comes. A man who doesn't care about social order signals to everyone in an order society that he is a lawless, reckless idiot who don't deserve even the lowest position in the pyramid. In order to respect social order, you are required to respect the rules, behaviors, etiquette, and yes, close formality. Which system of men's wear formality? Different cultures have different set of men's wear that suit the different formality occasions. If you are in the military, you can wear a business suit to a military parade. When visiting certain pagodas, you have to remove your shoes no matter who, who you are. It's always wise to research beforehand about the event that you attend, the place, dress code, and what to be expected of a person in your position. That said, with the widespread of Western clothes, most parts of the world have accepted a common dress code and formality dress system that can be applied everywhere from Europe to Asia, from America to India. This video will introduce you the formality system of Western clothes and some variant. Casual clothes. Casual is the lowest formality level. Here you can find anything and everything under the sun. T-shirt. Polo, jean, chino, sportswear, leather jackets. Basically, if you wear it and it's comfortable, looks good on your eyes, it's good enough. However, you are still in public place and there are still some rules even with casual clothes. You should wear clothes that cover your private parts and as much of the underwear as possible. Your armpit, your chest and belly should be covered as well. If you have uh, not a very flattering body set, you should wear clothes that to reduce the body flaws as much as possible. That's a uh, general rule. Every detail is up to you. You can wear uh, casual clothes when you are in public place and the time and the place is not important enough for, for more outfit. Business casual clothes. If you have an office job, you are expected to wear business casual outfit because the importance of the place and time, you are here to work with someone to provide value to someone. It requires a more formal outfit. At the basic, you are expected to wear at least formal shirt, trousers, and leather shoes. Depend on your rank and control, you are expected to wear sport jacket, blazer, or a suit as well. But in some other place, if you wear any jacket, it might be specific as too pretentious. So a sweater or bare shirt can be an alternative. In some office job, like software engineer, wearing casual clothes to work becomes the norm. But if you wear business casual, the more power to you. When you are properly dressed, everyone will know that you respect your work, the time, and will get the job done. That can be more important than getting the job done itself. Four more clothes. For every once in a while, you will attend a formal event. It will be an important meeting, a wedding, funeral, or even press conference, parliament meeting. Here, the cultures diverse. 
So your experience may vary. In the West, besides business suit, there are also black tie and white tie dress code, which is more formal than business suit and you should adhere if you attend one. In other Western influence places, the business suit is as formal as it gets. However, in some places, wearing a Western suit when you are in a, a government seat is frowned upon. In some places, funeral means dark colors clothes. Other places, white ones are required. So for the safest option, you should have at least one business suit and adapt per situation. Difference between income With all those rules, not everyone can always adhere to them. People have various income levels when they can't follow a dress code simply because that is not affordable to them. That's okay. If you go to a place where most people wear cheaper clothes, it is advised that you wear a dress down as well to avoid alienate them. But if you can afford to wear appropriate clothes and the event call for a certain dress code, you should follow no excuse. The rule is for oneself is always stricter than the rule for others. The casualization of menswear as society changed, culture changed as well. What was deemed casual in last century became formal wear today. Who knows, maybe someday your sweatpants and t-shirt will become menswear classic. People may wear jack suit to courtroom, but for now, have a suit in your closet. You will need it. That's why we at Aventel has created this 35mm premium holist belt. You can watch the video describing this belt link in the description. The belt is available in dozens of color link in the description. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.